you have to actually learn how to consume news from a propaganda source. Now, the New York Times mostly fact checks. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not where the problem is. So it's I find it's pretty good um, if they are willing to state something unequivocally. They know when they're lying. They know when they're propagandizing. And so you have to be able to learn like about the to be sure paragraph. So seven paragraphs in, there's a paragraph that begins to be sure. And that paragraph has most of the things that they don't want to admit to. Um, so always, and it doesn't always start with to be sure. You know, that's like in a world, you know, it, it's, a, it's a ritualized thing. So look for the to be sure paragraph that they have had to put in in order to make sure that the piece is technically balanced. And then, you know, um, some other tricks are uh, look I think there's a, a site called News Diffs, maybe newsdiffs.org, how the story changes online. Uh, recorded several differences, you know, as this, as the day progresses. It's like the telephone tree. Right. Well, like a perfect example for us was the incident that happened on the mall at the, in Washington where there was a, a MAGA group of teenagers who mm-hmm. were interacting with the uh, Native Americans and the drums. Right. And you saw that from the left-leaning media, they picked up this scoop around the MAGA teens accosted the Native American. And it right. kind of fit neatly into the left-leaning perspective of like, see, these MAGA uh, lovers are out of control. Right. right. And it just fit neatly into their archetype. And then I talked to Johnny, and Johnny's like, well, that's actually not what I've heard at all. It was actually the opposite. And then, you know, as the story twisted and turned and more sources got involved, it, it actually round up somewhere in the middle <laughs> where you could, from either side, view the other person as being wrong. And it was actually in a gray area. But where I'm consuming my information didn't show the gray area. It showed the black and white viewpoint that clearly these kids riled up in their hats, you know, went after someone who was just peacefully demonstrating. And I feel like this is just one of many examples where we've had these conversations back and forth and it's now made me think, oh, let me step outside of my bubble, which is traditional media, and let me just try to seek out a little bit more of the truth. And it's and it almost seems like it is ramping up to once a month, now it's weekly, now it's several different stories that are, are it just seems that are popping up where it's like I and we both said like we're trying to cut back on the news because it's driving both of us crazy well it's driving all of us crazy it's ruining our relationships (laughs) and I want my reality back and I'm going to take my reality back because who are these people they're unelected we can't question them we can't understand what's going on we know who they're hiring Sarah Jong at the New York Times I mean okay it's like we're going to write a confession uh, that we're actually an activist you know political uh, source okay However, here's, here's what I would recommend to your, um, to your listeners. Think about every news organization as having a guiding narrative, okay? So once you've got a guiding narrative, you have to ask what happens when a narrative aligned story, story comes through that organization. So my claim is that all of the major outlets the sense-making organs, if you will, in my jargon, can none of them are so weak that they can't catch a fly ball, <laughs> right? If somebody hits a pop-up fly, they've got it if it's narrative aligned. So Breitbart right. is going to do fine if there's some story about somebody faking a hate crime. Mm-hmm. They're going to cover that. Mm-hmm. Okay. On the other hand, if there is an actual hate crime, that's going to line up much more with the New York Times or Vox. So now you have this weird thing, which is that no one, there does not appear to be one single organ who can faithfully report a counter narrative story. And there is always a counter narrative story that will eventually come in with something that you don't want to have to consider because it fouls up what your general view of the world is. If you believe, for example, that um, immigration is a pure positive. It's a free lunch. You know, Noah Smith told me straight up that he believes that it's a free lunch. It's the rarest of all things with no downside. Well, okay, sooner or later, some immigrant is going to do something horrendous. And that means that there's a problem for anybody who's stated, no, it's a free lunch. It's the miraculous thing that never happens. On the other hand, if you believe that immigrants are the, are the source of you know, America's weakness, 
I guarantee you somebody's going to found an amazing pharmaceutical company that's going to cure all sorts of diseases and that, that wouldn't have been done otherwise. Okay. So now the question is, why is no organ able to report <laughs> both of these phenomena? And that has to do with the fact that we are living in a narrative driven era. And so, you know, that I'm trying to be open. I have narrative stories and I have counter narrative stories that run against what it is that I'm trying to say. It's much more fun to report the stories that perfectly align with my narrative. But I think that the big answer is you have to consume eclectically. You have to think about it as like your ear. Your ear is, has different hairs for different frequencies. <laughs> and if some of those hairs in your organ of cordy go out, you won't hear things on that frequency. So my advice to you is start consuming some crazier stuff that, that is exactly counter narrative to what you're consuming. And my advice to you is totally different, which is go back to consuming the propaganda that you've identified and recognize that there's a lot of true things that the New York Times does really well, but you're gonna have to do both. You're gonna have to aggregate across this because there is no sense-making organ, not one that I've found, that can report a counter narrative story faithfully.